Hi, this is Ken Wyatt from Wyatt Technical Services, and this is Friday Fun with Tesla Coils. This Tesla Coil is a kit you can buy from eBay. There's a number of sources. This particular one was $20, and uh, you can see the Tesla Coil assembly here. It's a primary of a single winding, and um, then the secondary is 350 turns of uh, very thin enameled copper wire. It's driven by a couple of transistors, one of which is a power oscillator which drives the primary. And uh, this is powered by DC. It can run from um, about 9 volts all the way up to 28 volts safely. And um, let's, let's go ahead and turn it on and I'll show you how it works. Okay, I don't know if you can see very clearly, but uh, there's a small corona discharge at the tip here. Let me just zoom in for you. Yeah, you should be able to see that, that purple corona there pretty well. Now it's probably producing uh, some tens of thousands of volts of, um, of energy. They do supply you with a small neon light bulb. You can see it's starting to light up here. And the closer I hold it, the brighter it gets. One thing I noticed was at the lower end of the coil, it's not as bright. And that's because the secondary voltage is lower at this point. As you go up higher and higher, it gets brighter and brighter. To let you know there really is energy there. Here we go. Of course, we're all uh, interested in starting fires, right? Okay. So that just demonstrates that there is uh, quite a bit of energy there. Here's some CFL uh, fluorescent light bulbs. You can see it um, lights up pretty brightly by holding it close to the coil there. Here's another example. And this is uh, lighting up almost, uh, almost like plugging it into a, a light bulb socket. It's very bright. One other example. I have is a uh, circular fluorescent tube. Now because I also deal in uh, electromagnetic compatibility, of course I have my spectrum analyzer here. And uh, you can see that um, the oscillator, the main oscillator is oscillating about 4.27 megahertz and it's a pretty strong signal here. You can also see the second, third, and fourth harmonics pretty easily. Now this group of signals here is due to the corona discharge. It's a higher frequency, it's um, right around, uh, oh it's centered on about 200 megahertz. So there's a little bit of fun uh, on Friday, and uh, sure hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.